this is another edition of Car Chronicle. This is Stephanie Renee, aka Life 1985. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Stephanie Renee and Twitter Stephanie Renee TV. One, know your worth know your value but know your worth what are you worth what is your true value how can you impact others I always talk about building an empire that's because an empire let me remove these glasses let let me listen in life you have to know your worth and your value you have to be that person who can multiply your worth and value each day you wake up you need to be able to make it better than it was the day before why am i telling you all about this because so often we begin to lose ourselves in others and when we lose ourselves in others we cannot grow it's kind of like weeds and how weeds get entangled in one another and it stunts the growth now, two flowers growing and blossoming together, they're beautiful as a unit. But when you have a weed and you have a flower, what's going to happen to that flower? That weed is going to end up taking over and it's going to destroy it. Do you understand what I'm saying? It will destroy it. So surround yourselves with other flowers, other people. Surround yourself with people who want to see success who want to see you grow, who want to add value to your life. It's kind of like when we talk about flowers, we talk about that flower bed, we talk about that curve appeal. When you see a home and it has weeds all throughout the flower bed, although it's so cosmetic, it can depreciate the value of the house. But if you see a beautiful flower bed with beautiful flowers, beautiful shrubs, it adds value. And so when someone comes to see that, they say, oh my God, this is nice. And that's just based on the outside and the curb appeal. Until they get on the inside that you invest in. You invest in yourself. Whether it's financially, whether it's spiritually, invest in yourself. Whether it's physically. If you're going to the gym every day, that's investing in yourself. That's investing in your longevity. That's what that's doing. Going to the gym, investing in life. Sometimes you need to be spiritually fed. You need to hear the good word. You need these things. Someone to inspire you to be a better you because you have the potential. You just need somebody to water it. And guess what? I know that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help water your plants. I'm here to water your flowers because you're beautiful. And I know you're beautiful. And I know your worth supersedes anything that you've ever seen in your life. So what you have to go out there and do is be fruitful, multiply, plant those flowers, fertilize that soil, fertilize. That means invest in yourself financially. Every time you get paid, one, save a portion of it. Two, if you're not saving it, spend that back into your business or back into what it is you're doing. Hypothetically speaking, if you so choose to work for the man, white collar work or blue collar work, Invest in things that you need to make your job a little easier. Yeah, I know some people want their jobs to provide everything, but hey, sometimes that's not the way to go. You may have to do it. And another thing, like appearance, the way you carry yourself is the way that people see you. When you're frowning and when you're sad and when you're down, people see that and they assume that she's mean he's mean something's wrong but that's not always the case ultimately i want you all to know your worth know your value and be successful know your worth Always know your value. Know that you are important. Never lose yourself in someone else. You 
are ultimately in control of your happiness. You are no one else. You are in control of it. When you're feeling down because of something someone else did, guess what? That's something that they did. That's something that they have a fault with, not you. Always know that you're important. Always know that you are valuable. Always know that there is a purpose for your life. Honest, I almost lost myself trying to find someone else. And when I realized it, I changed. See that ride or die bitch all day. But if he's not riding for you, you do not need to stay. Men and women, one and the same, will use you, will suck the energy out of you if you allow them. Ultimately, my task to you is to take your happiness back, to take control of your happiness and what you want. Again, I say, you do not get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. So if you negotiate foolishness, is exactly what you're going to get. Accomplished.